Today we're going to talk uh, a little bit about uh, 1930s rayon fabrics, uh, just to give uh, people an idea of what they were using back then. Uh, generally, lightweight rayon, very uh, cool, very drapey. Uh, for patterns, you would see them both in florals on this side here, or you'll see them more as a geometric of a pattern here. This is a uh, a lovely shadow dot sort of thing. Uh, these fabrics were very adaptable. A lot of times they would do something like this where they would uh, leave it a raw edge and then just um, you know pull the threads on it to give it a softer finish. Little ruching along the sides here. Then they would take this and they would do it as a belt and then put the little tips on it on the end. And of course, this probably came as a set with the belt and these parts matching. And then on the other side, you see where a lot of times they used this fabric and what they did was they would cover the metal belt uh, buckle and then just thread it all through for a very finished look at the waist because that was where the natural waistline was again in the 30s. So the Dolly sisters here uh, on the left is wearing a 1940s cotton dress. This is probably uh, early 40s. Uh, it's that um, hybrid of graphic and uh, floral print. As you move away from the earlier uh, 40s and the 30s, certainly where it would have been an overall floral. So much more graphic, much more interesting to look at. On the right hand side uh, we're looking at uh, a rayon dress sometimes they call this cool rayon uh, I think that's mostly because of the way it feels when you touch it uh, this one's a novelty print uh, it's probably from the later floor 40s it's going into uh, uh, an abstract now where that's doing these uh, wild brush strokes in the background and then uh, some sort of scene back behind which looks like someone's bedroom and I'd be willing to bet it's maybe Antoine, Marie Antoinette and or it could be a stage with uh, people dancing on it so there there's your thing also if you look at this one too it has this wonderful peplum on it too which is a nice touch from the 40s one good indication too of a later fabric especially when it's in a dress is the length of the, the dress itself this one is obviously after the war because the hem is back down below the knee again probably mid-calf when uh, fabric restrictions had been lifted certainly in the united states but probably not in england yet patterns that didn't make it onto the Dolly Sisters are this lovely spring uh, rayon uh, floral print from uh, the early 30s. Uh, what's wonderful about this one here is, is they have done these inset mesh bands into the short sleeves to give it a, a much more summery, uh, comfortable uh, feel about it. Uh, this 1930s uh, silk uh, print is a wonderful novelty print of vegetables. We have peas, we have, I guess, tomatoes, uh, carrots, uh, maybe turnips or something like that. But uh, uh, a lovely, a lovely print. But you never really know it until you actually see it up close. Through. Otherwise, it looks like a floral. And then. Moving away from floral prints, this is a really wonderful um, cotton 1930s summer dress, uh, just in a beautiful uh, uh, chevron of stripes that uh, has been um, pieced together. So great little buttons with ties on the sides. This is perfect beach wear, and it still has its original belt too. In the 1940s, to cheer everybody up, novelty prints uh, were very, very popular. And on this one here, 
although it looks like hearts and vines, it's really um, old-fashioned telephones uh, that you would just pick up and ask for the operator. Uh, this one is uh, rayon dress. Uh, you see they've done a drop waist yoke on it and um, all this fine uh, pleating on this side here and this was something that rayon could do. You, you could do finer stuff like this and it would give the dress a, a much, um, I'll, I'll say sexier uh, look once it was on the body. Next door we have this beautiful uh, green rayon dress with uh, a lovely floral print on it again. Uh, Rayon was very, very cheap to manufacture and that's why so many dresses were made out of it and designers loved it because it drapes so beautifully. This one here has added a peplum in again so that uh, it just lays over the hips. And you can't see it, but there's a little bit of shoulder padding in here too, just to give the shoulders a little bit more definition, which helps you uh, date it. And as you can see, this one has a shorter skirt on it, so it's probably from um, uh, the wartime. Thank you.